Pancreas cancer can be a painful and deadly disease. Only three people in 16 are alive one year from diagnosis. Just one person in 16 is alive five years from diagnosis. I'm Belinda Lee, a medical oncologist and a working party member of the Pancreatic Tumor Stream 2017 Summit. I'm Charles Pilgrim, surgeon and co-chair of the Pancreas Tumor Summit 2017. According to the most recent statewide data, nearly one in four Victorian surgical patients is not receiving adjuvant therapy. This figure concerns me. The surgery for pancreas cancer is given with curative intent and without a systemic therapy for a systemic cancer, it's hard to justify surgery only as the best course of treatment for optimal patient outcomes. Beyond adjuvant therapy, we can also see virtually no surgical candidates are receiving neoadjuvant therapy. Most guidelines do recommend that borderline resectable patients receive neoadjuvant therapy. The results of the recent JAMA Oncology publication by Murphy and colleagues led us to consider how well our patients with borderline resectable disease are taking off. The single arm phase two trial of 48 patients demonstrated that total neoadjuvant therapy with eight cycles of orfurinox followed by individualized chemoradiotherapy was able to achieve R0 resections in 32 patients with borderline resectable pancreatic cancer. Translated, that's a 65% R0 resection rate amongst all available patients. This is a significantly higher rate than historical controls. This result also correlated with prolonged median progression-free survival of 48.6 months and a two-year overall survival of 72% in patients who underwent resection. Victoria doesn't have sufficient staging data to speak to which patients have borderline resectable versus resectable or locally banned disease. But what we can say is that very few patients are having chemotherapy before surgery. Either patients with borderline resectable disease are having chemotherapy and not proceeding to surgery, or they're proceeding to surgery before the systemic therapy. Neither is optimal. Pancreas cancer staging is moving towards a classification system defining those categories and there are international guidelines on how to define borderline resectable pancreas cancer. We need to record at a local level if a patient has resectable, borderline resectable or locally advanced disease. Cancer isn't fair. The lower a patient's socioeconomic status, the lower their chance of survival. One thing we can do as clinicians is to make sure that all patients are treated the same multidisciplinary team meetings, regardless of prognosis or stage. There is value in multidisciplinary discussion for patients with metastatic disease and patients headed for palliative care. Early referral to palliative care has been shown to improve life expectancy. Patients with metastatic disease may be eligible for clinical trials and every patient needs to be considered in that regard. Here in Australia, we are running a large randomised nationwide clinical trial sponsored by the Australian GI Trials Group, AGITG. This study is called the Dynamic Pancreas Trial, and it will investigate a risk stratified approach utilising liquid biopsies. This biopsy is a blood test that determines the presence or absence of circulating tumor DNA in the bloodstream after resection of pancreatic cancer. This test will more accurately inform clinicians of a patient's risk of disease recurrence and guide treatment decisions. If the circulating tumor DNA is present, patients will receive escalated chemotherapy. If it is absent, chemotherapy will be de-escalated to reduce toxicity to the patient. The Dynamic Pancreas trial will investigate this approach in both the new adjuvant and adjuvant treatment cohorts. If effective, this would have a major impact on treatment of pancreatic cancer. The Dynamic Pancreas trial is currently in the activation stage and will commence recruitment by November 2018. Victoria's cancer plan is to double the improvement in one and five year survival of patients with pancreas cancer. The Pancreas Summit in 2017 was our starting point to get there. We need to categorise and document pancreas cancer into one of these three diagnoses, that is resectable, borderline resectable or locally advanced, and plan our treatment algorithm based on that description. Our patients with borderline resectable cancer need systemic therapy, either before or after surgery or both. Our patients with poor prognosis need multidisciplinary team discussions to give them the best possible experience with palliative care and for consideration in clinical trials. The life extending benefit of early referral to palliative care is becoming widely accepted. This is relevant to almost every one of our pancreatic cancer patients.
These are the prioritised variations for pancreas cancer care in Victoria. Consistency and care gives your patient the best outcome.